Welcome back to a Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today I'm going to go over a Patreon request by Mr. Mad Mothy who wanted to see an XP level up system where you kill some enemies, get some XP, eventually gain a new level, and then get more stats with that level. If you want your tutorial idea expedited on one of my videos, consider to join Patreon where I take monthly requests. And so with that said, let's get started. All right, so when you open up the project, you just have a quick scene where you have three enemies to kill to gain one level, six enemies to kill to gain another level, and then nine enemies to kill to gain the last level. And we're gonna be utilizing the database during this process. So we're gonna click on the database tab. Over here, you will see that I have two databases. One is a four objects. You can tell because it has a set resource and a motion column. The next one is just gonna be a default database. And what I mean by that is when you add a database, you have a default database and a four objects. Now, in order to attach a database to an object, it has to be a four objects. And since I wanted this one, the player stats attached to the object, I needed to add it as a four database. So this is how this example is gonna work. We have the four object database as the player stats per level. And so you'll see that the first row, I have zero skip. That is because of how the database is handled. It basically starts like normal programming in arrays, which starts at zero. And since you're going to start at level one, most likely, I just decided to skip zero and go to one because we're basing this off a level variable. The next row is gonna be your level one stats. And then this is where you would have all the stats associated. So at level one, my max attack is one, my min attack is one, my max HP is five, and my HP is five. Now you can add any stat that you want on these columns right here. And matter of fact, you can notice that these are actual variables that are in the object database or in the uh, objects variables. For instance, if I go to object and player and I go to their variable, you can see that I have an HP. I have a max HP, I have a min attack and a max attack. And so that's why I was naming them like this. One thing to consider is I will point out, see how max attack, the A is lowercase and then min attack, the A is uppercase. And that is because that is how it is in the spelling on these variables. Min attack, for some reason, the A is uppercase, max attack is lowercase. So make sure that you get the correct spelling of the name as well, including the parentheses and the percentage sign and all this stuff if you're using those ones. Now, this could also just be a variable that you create. For instance, I'm just gonna get rid of this column, but if we go down to the next one, we can see that this one is called XP to next level. Well, if you go to resources variables here, I just have one called XP to next level. And so as long as the name is the same on these uh, columns here, then those are what is going to be applied to that variable. And so we can see that at level one, we're going to have these stats. At level two, they're going to just upgrade just a little bit, but the health, you know, by a little bit more, and then so on and so on. Now, the next database, this default one, is going to be XP to next level. And this is so that you know how much XP you need for the next level. And so again, we're going to skip zero because we're not starting at zero. Then we're gonna to go to one. And so at level one, XP to next level is going to equal three. At level two, XP to next level is gonna equal six. Basically just adds three each time for the next level. And then in my case, I reset the XP to zero. There could be a system where you don't reset the XP, you just increase the next level XP. And so that is definitely one option. All right, so that is basically database 101. I don't do a lot of videos on it, so I figured I'd better explain. Honestly, the player stats could have also been a default database. I just wanted to show that there are those two different methods. And so with that said, let's get to the object and how we're actually doing this. So we're gonna go into the player. And the first thing we're gonna do is set our basic settings to the first level, which it is. The first level was 5511. And so with that said, we don't have to do any kind of initializing because it's already set up to be level one. So that's really nice. The next thing is, is that I connected an object called level control. And I have an object here that you'll see text and you can see right here, this is just for a sample only. This just gives us that HUD with the information so you can see that you're leveling. And so you might find that useful, but um, the level control is the actual object that we're interested in because it is going to be handling the level up system. So in the first action here, it is going to run a apply database. Now apply database is found on the third. It's the very last option right here. And so when we click into it, we're going to see that I have selected the database list, the XP to next level, and I'm applying the row. And the row that I'm applying is based on the common, because this is the, the common variable list called level. And then we are going to basically apply that to any common variable that is in that column. So I, I need to talk you through this just so that it kind of makes sense. 
but basically we are taking the database we're applying the row that is based on the variable the common variable level and then we're applying it to any common variables that are in those columns so if we go back to database we are taking this database we're applying it to the value the row to the value of level well if you go to resource variable our level starts at one so its default value is one so we know that it's going to run row one at the very beginning and then what is it going to do it's going to apply any common variable that we find on this so because xp to next level is also a common variable it is going to apply xp to next level and it's going to do it based off this row one value which is going to be three so when we start the game because of that runtime action that defaults to three because you can see that in our xp to next level we don't have a default so that thing's running right away at first and it's setting it to three that's how that works you could have as many common variables as you want the only thing is is the way that this is applied is it will only apply two common variables so if you have any object specific variables that you want you would have to run another database runtime action here and you would have to do it based off the player or something like that but in this case we want it based off all the um the uh, common variables and we can do things like equal and add as well so just note that you can also use these operators as what that value is going to do so we could just say plus plus and it is going to add three to it which will still give us the same thing but it will mess it up in later processes but so we just want it to equal it straight so that's what this first action is doing next let's go to the link condition that it's checking and that is pretty simple we're just basically checking the common variable xp and we're just seeing if it's greater than or equal to the common variable xp to next level which we just set to be the next goal for the for the level and now we can go to apply the next level so this is how we're going to apply the level so when your xp is greater than or equal to the xp to next level that means you've hit a new level and you're going to come down here and you're going to add one to the level so just plus one the next thing you're going to do and this again was optional is i'm going to drop my xp back down to zero i'm going to have a system where your your xp starts at zero each level and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply the stats to the player so this is taking the the same logic of the first runtime action we are but this time we're taking the player stats database we're applying it to the row based off the level which we updated by plusing one we did it before so that when we get to the database it's ready to go with a new level and then we're applying the variables or sorry we're applying the row based on the value of level so now it's going to be level two when it hits the the second level and then we're going to apply that to the player and we want them to equal so that they are setting it and so yep you just click the player object like this now there's other ways that you can do with like parent object and you can attach the database but i find this just just as easy if not simpler to do it this way because then you don't have to mess with the database tab right here so then you're going to set that to equal and so let's just break this down again just so it makes sense we're taking the player stats we're applying the row the entire row based on the value of level which we've just added to and we're applying it to the player so we're going to click ok on this go to database go back to here so when we hit level two we are now applying row two we're applying everything on this row and we're applying it to the player so because the player has a max attack a min attack a max hp and an hp those values are all going to get applied according to the variable that they're named after so you will notice that i have this level stat common right here we actually don't need this applied database we can get rid of it and the reason why is because when the logic goes back to processing it re-updates how much xp we need for the next level and so i don't know why i had that in there it's it doesn't need to be in there and then real quickly i just show a little particle to show that we are in fact leveling up and then it unconditionally goes back to processing which it updates the xp needed for the next level again by applying it to this newly updated level row and then it the process repeats and so you literally have a two action level up system that is applying stats based on the level that you need 
very easy system. The only real other thing that you need is on your enemy. What I did was I created a variable called XP and I just made it to where this is how much this XP, this enemy is worth. So this enemy is only worth one. You would want to change this accordingly. You could also do some, you know, random RNG for an initialized method, stuff like this. But on the death of the enemy, you just have to make sure that you are applying the XP common variable and you're plussing the XP from the object self, which is this object. So this enemy is worth one XP. When it dies, you are going to plus one basically because that's how much it is to the actual XP variable. And that's really the only other key factor. When you play test all this together, you get a one XP each robot killed. When you hit the, the max XP, it levels up. You go through here, you can hit multiple at a time, kill two at a time level up and then the last one and level up. Yeah, so this system can be easily extended and a very easy setup with just a level control, a simple level control like this. Super nice. So yeah, any questions, comments below, Steam Forms, Patreon, we'll get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.